What in God's name is happening? Why so much hate? Find the answer in To the Far Right Christian Hater. You can be a good speller or a hater, but you can't be both. Mikey Weinstein is the president and founder of the Military Religious Freedom Foundation, the only nonprofit organization solely dedicated to the constitutionally guaranteed right to separation of church and state in the United States military. Many disagree so vehemently with MRFF's mission that they send Mikey Weinstein emails expressing their displeasure. The following real emails are so explicit in nature that they're deserving of the treatment that you are about to witness from MRFF's maven of mockery, Rachel. You all need to go straight to effing hell. There will be a special place for you there. All brave kids serve to protect you chicken shits. And this is what you do. Go join ISIS. Seems they don't like Christ either. Try living under their rules and get the F out of our country. Can't wait till you pieces of shit die off. Then you can tell God himself how he doesn't exist. F your crybaby slut ass wife. And F your crybaby spoiled children who got their fancier Force Academy educations all paid for by the grace of American Christian taxpayers. And just look what we got for our tax money. The family Weiningstein Jew traders from hell. Cry, 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 because you have it so bad in a Christian-made country. You know you all happier in North Korea or back in Jews, Rael. Get out of our country. Here, Jesus is king, and if you don't like it, then F you. And especially F you, Mickey Crybaby Weinstein. Oh, it must be so hard to be a little Jew boy. Having everything up in the Christian military for our Christian soldiers who have made your whole worthless life even possible. Our church hate you. Hope you effing die painfully and slow and suffer long like you make our Christian soldiers suffer. Because that's what Jews do all the time. Even to the Son of God. So, you can now suffer, you little piece of Jew shit. F you. <laughs> Wish you were never born. There is no atheist in the foxhole. Mikey Weinstein is a liberal idiot. The phrase was well noted by ex-World War II soldiers. Woof. Falls Military Religious Freedom Foundation, Mikey Weinstein. Repent to Jesus only, get right with the Bible only, stop assaulting the truth, Christians, I highly recommend worldwide, sunlifetv.com of Jimmy Swaggart Ministries, SBN Sun Life Broadcasting Network, Sun Life Radio, to you. The First Amendment to the U.S. Constitution guarantees an airman's right to express his faith, and the National Defense Authorization Act specifically states religious beliefs must be accommodated by the armed forces. I am outraged that false military religious freedom foundation Mikey Weinstein spearheaded supports the removal of a life's personal testimony article written by Colonel Marquez from The Stinger. To deny Colonel Marquez's right to write a story about his personal faith while allowing others to post non-religious material clearly demonstrates a distinct case of religious assault discrimination. I demand that you immediately justly respect and honor the religious liberties airmen are entitled to and to clear up and right this wrong matter quickly. Repent to Jesus only. Get right with the Bible only. Stop assaulting the truth, Christians. I highly recommend Worldwide SunLifeTV.com and Jimmy Swagger Ministries, SBN. Outraged. May only the truth, which is God's truth, the Bible, go marching on. Anthony Asmus, U.S. regular Army veteran from Rossford, Ohio, suburb of Toledo, Ohio, on 11-1-2014. 
And now for something completely different. Here's a response to one of these people. <clears throat> November 13th, 2014. Paul, please ask your retarded... No, I take that back. It would be beneath me to lower myself to your level. For that matter, I intend to use proper spelling. It's huevos with an H, not a J. Grammar, punctuation, and sentence structure as well. Oh, and no profanity. Mikey Weinstein asked me to respond a couple days ago. Sorry I couldn't get to this sooner, but I was busy doing other things to protect our American citizenry from misguided missiles of Christian defense like yourself. The fact is nearly 40,000 individuals have come to Mikey for help because of their military chains of command were attacking them. And 96% were being attacked for being Christians. Wait, let me clarify that. They were being attacked for not being Christian enough. So Paul, what do you think is Christian enough? Do you think you're Christian enough? Well, what if your boss said you weren't and that you had to go to his church, believe in his version of God, and follow his particular religious rituals, or you'd get the most dangerous assignments? What if your refusal meant going to prison for disobeying a military order? Would that be acceptable? Such behavior is illegal according to the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and a couple centuries of case law as well. Every military member must take an oath to support and defend the Constitution, not the nation, not the politicians, not the land, against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That Constitution is the absolute foundation of our nation, our land, and the laws of our politicians, who also take that oath, right, or should write. Those who, within our military, as that is MRFF's focus, use their rank and power to force their religion on others or mistreat others for not being what they consider the right religion, are breaking their oath, breaking the law, and working in breach of the rights of their underlings. This has to stop. You can be part of the problem or part of the solution. The choice is yours. Sincerely, an American veteran, proud patriot, and staunch MRFF supporter. Please make a fully tax-deductible donation to the Military Religious Freedom Foundation today.